Hi, I'm Professor Chris Grappi, and I'm going to give you a short tour of both Phil Mauskopf and my lab in the basement of ISTB4. We design and build uh, receivers and detector systems for far infrared astrophysics and also for planetary science and Earth remote sensing. Uh, this is a part of the electromagnetic spectrum where you can't buy a lot, you actually have to build everything yourself. And so our students and professional engineers do a lot of that here. So I'll show you a few examples. So one of the things we need to do is read our detectors out and we, need, we do that with uh, purpose-built electronics. This is a board that has a big chip on it here called a field programmable gate array, which is a reconfigurable logic chip that allows you to actually um, reconfigure all the little digital gates in there to do one particular job but do it really really fast and we use these to read out a kind of detector called a kinetic inductance detector that professor mauskopf helped to invent and it's a far infrared detector that uh, is what we call a direct detector meaning it detects how many photons are showing up but doesn't necessarily figure out what color those photons are and we use that to make a far infrared camera with lots and lots of pixels so our detectors are cryogenic. We need to get them really, really cold because they're superconductors. The superconducting band gap and the superconducting material is very, very small. So the wimpy far infrared photons can break the Cooper pairs in the superconductor. And you can then uh, use that effect to figure out how many photons are hitting. So this is an example of what we call a cryostat. And uh, this is a system that can get what's the this plate here down to below about 300 millikelvin so on the bottom here there's a mechanical refrigerator this refrigerator is kind of like what they use in mri machines that cools this plate here to about liquid nitrogen temperature 77 kelvin this plate cools to four degrees kelvin this plate here gets cooled to one degree kelvin by this uh, closed cycle refrigerator here that uses helium-3. And then this final stage here cools down to about 270 millikel. And we put the actual detectors we want to get cold on this final plate. And then the whole thing has shields that attach to each one of these plates like a set of nested Russian dolls. And then this big blue thing goes over the top and we suck all the air out so it's vacuum insulated. So one of the other things we need to do here is to be able to make all of our own custom parts. So we have a full machine shop in IST before that's just for CC that's uh, run by a mechanical engineer who works with Phil and I. This is a big uh, CNC milling machine. It's the same type that used it, that's used at NASA JPL. And it uses big huge cutting tools like this to be able to cut metal and those load into this cutting spindle here which spins the tool around and then the metal you want to cut you mount down here and you can program the machine to then basically works like a cutting robot and goes and cuts your stuff um, but it's not like a 3d printer it actually takes a pretty highly skilled engineer to program this machine the main problem is this machine's meant to cut metal and the machine is made of metal so it will very happily cut itself if you tell it to do the wrong thing. And we have various manual machines. This is a manual mill, which is does the same job as that other one I just showed you, but it's not a robot. You actually move stuff around by hand with these knobs and uh, load the cutting tool into here. And it has a little display that tells you where it is, but it's all done manually. And then we have a bandsaw to be able to cut chunks of material. We have a CNC lathe, which is designed to make round parts that you put the thing you want to cut here and can uh, spin it around and cut round stuff. And a welder and all kinds of neat little tools. Uh, this shop is mainly run by our professional engineer but it actually is possible for grad students to come into this shop and use these tools if they receive the proper training and uh, follow all the rules.